we're going to talk about the doctrines being taught but taught today. Um, some of them, uh, you know, that are, you know, people are coming up with strange and new doctrines. And it says, For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, but after their own lust they shall heap to themselves teachers having itching ears. They shall turn their ears from the truth and shall be turned into fables. It says, If any man preach any other gospel... Let him be accursed. Or if an angel or anybody else preach another gospel, let him be accursed. It says, If any man adds unto these words or take from him his name, will be taken out of the book of life, or the plagues that are written in this book shall be added unto him. There's many things that people are teaching today, including generational curses. Um, you know, Paul said, But avoid questions and genealogies and contentions and strife. You know, uh, when... The apostles asked Jesus, who sinned, this man that he was born blind or his parents? And he said, not, not any, is so the, uh, the works of God could be manifest in him. You know, it wasn't some generational curse he could trace back. In fact, you would have to have a time machine to trace back all your curses. Uh, because it, it'll keep going back, back, all the way back to Adam. And it's endless. It's a witch hunt. It's like, ooh, let's see what we can't find out. Let's... Let's see what we can't delve in to find out what's the cause of your problem instead of seeking the Lord and letting the Lord overcome uh, every sin in you. See, it gets into a guessing game. In fact, in the book of Ezekiel, it says, the sins of the Father will no more be applied to the sins uh, onto the Son if the Son does that which is right. So this generational doctrine that people are trying to, uh, you know, it, it's even witchcraft itself because they're trying to uh, pull the wool over your eyes and trying to, get you to re-guess what Christ can already work in you. Uh, and Paul says to avoid these things, avoid foolish questions and genealogies. You know, if, if, if there's a genealogy where you can look up and trace back what's evil about you, there, there should be able to be a genealogy where you can look up and trace up what's good about you. And we know that uh, that's not the case. You, it's uh, God's able to take of these stones and make them a seed of Abraham. And you know, it there's a lot of things I could say about it, but I'm just saying it's witchcraft and it's foolishness and it's just uh, you're getting into a guessing game and trying to figure stuff out into a detective type of uh, searching. And, and that's not what God wants you to do. He wants you to be seeking Him. He'll uh, cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Neither give heed to fables and endless genealogies which minister questions. It ministers questions rather than godly edifying which is in faith, so do. Okay? I mean, if that's not plain and simple enough for you, I mean, if you're just going to keep following these false doctrines, you're not going to inherit the kingdom of God. Let no man beguile you of your reward in a voluntary humility and worshiping of angels. You know how everybody's into this Nephilim and falling angels and, uh, you know, they're getting into these strange doctrines uh, because they have dreams about it and, and they're trying to teach things about their dreams that they don't need to... They don't understand their dreams, and they don't understand what they're talking about. It says, Intruding in those things which he hath not seen, vainly puffed up by his fleshly mind. That's what's causing them to do this. Is uh, It's almost like a mysticism and a witchcraft. And not holding the head from which all the jo body by joints and bands, having nourishment ministered and knit together, increases with the increase of God. We're supposed to be seeking the head, Christ and not be worshiping angels, and not falling into these doctrines that are trying to teach about fallen angels and Nephilim, and, and getting off into things that lead away from the gospel. Okay. Um, you know, they're teaching about this mark of the beast as being uh, an actual chip in your hand. Um, this is also a false doctrine. Uh, who the Antichrist literally is. They think they had a dream about someone being the Antichrist. Well, you know, it says in the Word of God that he will not be revealed except they're coming and falling away first. And Paul, when he was talking about the falling away, he was talking to saints at his level where they were raising the dead and uh, casting out devils and uh, walking in the Spirit to a heightened level. So he said there'd be a falling away. And he wasn't talking about a falling away at a lower level. He was talking about the level they were at. And that has not happened. And the apostles didn't fall away. They died off. And there's no church that has awakened back to that same level to fall away. 
And if Paul said he won't be revealed except that falling away first, and I just explained what has to happen for that there to be a falling away, the church has to wake up to that first church level during the apostles' time for them to fall away. And it says he will not be revealed except there come a falling away first. So even if your dreams are, are giving you someone in particular, you're just guessing and you're trying to teach a doctrine. You don't understand what you're talking about. You're trying to teach about who the Antichrist is. And it says in the Word, he will not be revealed. Not except they're coming falling away first. They're teaching about aliens. Um, you know, they're teaching about the Mandela effect. They're teaching about these three, the three days of darkness. They're teaching about the rapture. The rapture is the biggest, one of the biggest false doctrines out there because it doesn't line up with what Paul taught us, being, us being caught up to God. It had nothing to do with a disappearing, flying away trick. It had to do with dying to oneself and going through the baptisms of Christ and, and raising back up because Paul was caught up to the third heaven. So there's a first, a second, and a third heaven. That means you can be caught up to different levels of heaven. And some of you are having dreams like this where you see yourself in heaven. You see see these things, but you don't understand what you're talking about. You, you're trying to line it up with the rapture doctrine, and it won't fit. It's not going to fit because the rapture doctrine is a lie. Jesus ascended up far above all heavens. And that's the final, at the last trump. And there's, there's many trumpets to be blown. That trumpets are to wake you up. And if they're to wake you up, then you're being awoken and awoken and awoken. And it's at the last trump that you wake up. And Jesus said he was coming immediately after the tribulation. And he would gather his saints after the tribulation. And he wasn't just talking to the Jews. Paul said it in second, or yes, Second Thessalonians to a, a Gentile church that Jesus would come. He would destroy the Antichrist and gather his saints. And the Antichrist is destroyed at the end of the tribulation. Just saying. Okay, there's a lot of false doctrines out there. If you're following, you're listening to them, you're going to be condemned with them. God bless.